tutorial explains the viscoelastic analysis of an axisymmetric model of solid motor propellant grain. The motor consists of propellant, insulation and casing. The analysis is carried out for a time period of 366 days and a time step of 1 day. The dimension of solid motor is 300 by 90.18 cm. Viscoelastic material property is considered for propellant. The Young's modulus of propellant is 1594.11 kg force per square centimeter. Poison's ratio is 0.4924 and the density is 1780 kg per meter cube. A 16 term prony series is used for the shear relaxation behavior of the propellant. Isotropic material property is considered for insulation and casing. For insulation, the Young's modulus is 100 kg force per square centimeter. Poison's ratio is 0.5. The coefficient of thermal expansion is 0 0.00021 per Kelvin and the density is 2000 kg per meter cube. And for casing, the Young's modulus is 1.9 10 to the power of 6 kg force per square centimeter. Poison's ratio is 0.3. Coefficient of thermal expansion is 0 0.00011 per Kelvin and the density is 7800 kg per meter cube. For creating the axisymmetric geometry, go to geometry menu, key point, create by xyz. Then set the coordinate values of the points. First point is 50, 0, 0. Click apply. Then provide the next coordinate values. It is 138.9, 300, 0. Either click apply or press Ctrl plus enter. The third point is 138.9, 0, 0. The next point is 139.4 300 0 The next point is 138.9.4 0 0 Now the next point is 140.18 300 0 Now click on label to view all the points. Zoom in each point position to see all the points. Fit to window we can clearly see all the 6 points created. Now go to geometry, surface, create, rectopy for creating the surfaces. For the first surface, click on snap to point button. Then select the coordinate points for the first surface. Click on the label point button for clearly viewing the point numbering. For the first surface, select the first point, then drag, then zoom in the topmost points. Now select the second point. Now the first surface is created. You can fit to window and see the first surface. Now again zoom in the bottom part and provide the corner points for the second surface. For that select the point number 3. Then fit to window and zoom the topmost points to select the point number 4. 
I select the point number 4. Point 3 and point 4 forms the second surface. Now again for creating the third surface, zoom the bottom part. Select point 5 as the first point. Then fit to window and zoom in the topmost part. Now select the sixth point. Now the third surface is ready. You can zoom in and see the three surfaces created. Now we can label and see the three surfaces. Now we can mesh each surfaces. Go to Mesh, FE Mesh, Quad, that select the surfaces to be meshed. Select the first surface, then select the method to map. Then click the divisions and click on each edges to adjust the subdivisions. Here the edge 1 is set to 10 divisions and the edge 2 is set to 25 divisions. And click apply. Now the surface 1 is meshed. Now zoom in for viewing the surface 2 and 3. Next select the second surface. Click on divisions. On the edge 1 we can give the subdivision as 1 and the edge 2 we can give it as 25. For getting node to node connectivity with the surface 1 and 2 we can provide it as 25 for the edge 2. Now select the third surface. Again set the subdivisions as 1 along edge 1. And click apply. Now all the three surfaces are meshed. We can zoom in and see the elements created. Ensure connectivity for all the nodes along all the surfaces. Now we can go to Mesh Element. Now we can group the elements created. For that go to Mesh Element Group Add. Select the element IDs. You can select the elements by part. You can drag the elements and select the elements. Zoom in to see whether only required elements are selected. And now we can name the group. The first group of elements is propellant group. And click apply. Now zoom in to see the next set of elements. Zoom in to exactly see the elements properly. Again going to Mesh, Element Group, Add. Then select the 
elements to be group select the exact elements Pan properly for selecting the elements. Element groups are created for easily applying the material properties. Now fit to window and give the name for the second group as insulation. And click apply. Now two groups are created. Again, zoom the geometry for creating the third group of elements. Now, select the elements for the third group. Pan it properly for selecting the elements. Zoom in and zoom out the model to clearly see the elements to be selected. Now all the elements for the third element group is ready. Give the proper naming as casing and click apply. Now three groups of elements are created. You can see it in the edit menu by clicking each set tidies. Propellant. In element group only propellant elements are selected. Next the insulation group and the third one is the casing group. Zoom in the model to see all the three elements. Next go to mesh, node, modify, merge to merge the duplicate nodes and click apply then erase the surfaces created select all the surfaces now surface now erase the points created first now zoom the casing region Now go to mesh element 
modify convert so converting all the chord four elements to chord eight elements select all the elements convert to chord eight apply now we can see that all the chord four elements are converted to chord eight then mesh element modify type for converting the shell elements into axisymmetric elements select all the elements then set the element type to axisymmetric and click apply From the find menu, select one element and we can see whether the element has been converted to axis symmetric. Now the eight node axis symmetric elements are created. Now drag the bottommost part of the casing region. And now go to load boundary condition, displacement boundary, add, select the bottom nodes of the casing region, for that zoom in properly for the casing region, the node IDs, select the bottom nodes of the casing. Click on the dialog box and select all the translation and rotation degrees of freedom. And click apply. Now the boundary condition is set. Click fit to window. In the edit menu we can see that the displacement condition and groups are created. Now go to load boundary condition. Give acceleration, add, select all the element IDs, set the direction as y direction and give the magnitude as minus 1 and click apply. Now zoom in to see the gravity load applied. Now go to property menu for setting the material properties. For that property function real table has to be created for giving the prony series for the viscoelastic material so go to property function real table and set the prony series coefficients After entering the prony series, 
click on the edit menu to see the function added next go to property material viscoelastic and for giving the viscoelastic material property in the element ids select the propellant group from the group select the propellant in the material data modulus of elasticity as 1594.11 and the poisson's ratio is 0.5 0.4924 next set the mass density as 0.00178 and in the prony coefficient select the table which we have given as function and click ok now viscoelastic material property is set for the propellant elements now again go to property material isotropic add in the element id select the insulation group of elements in the material data set the modulus of elasticity set the value as 100 then poisson's ratio as 0.5 coefficient of thermal expansion as 0.0021 and mass density as 2000 now click ok The material properties for the insulation elements are created. Again, go to property, material, isotropic add and select the casing group of elements. Now set the modulus of elasticity values. Give the Poisson's ratio values, coefficient of thermal expansion and mass density. And click OK. Now material properties are set for propellant, insulation and casing. You can see that three sets of material properties are added. Now switch on the load BC to visualize the boundary condition. Now go to analysis, analysis type, viscoelastic and click apply. Then again go to analysis, analysis options and set the solver as multifrontal. Now go to analysis, viscoelastic, general, add. Set the start time for analysis is 0 and end time for analysis is 3.1 by 10 to the power 7 and number of time steps is 366. 
and the reference temperature is 1 and click apply. Click run solver for executing. After executing, go to Pause, Contour, select the item as Displacement, select the component as TY and click Apply. We can see the Displacement Contour. We can rotate and see the Displaced Model. 